Hey guys, welcome back to another Sunday reset routine. Today's video is going to be mainly cleaning motivation. I had a lot of little things that I needed to clean that I've been putting off. So I'm going to get that stuff done in this video. I couldn't get to everything I wanted to get to. So stay tuned for next week's Sunday reset where it will be a little bit different. All of my reset routines are a little different anyway. So let's get started. All right, starting in the kitchen as always I like to start in the kitchen when I do my Sunday resets because it kind of helps me to like get going and start moving a little bit faster because once my kitchen is clean I feel a little bit better and then I just move on to other little things so I'm gonna be taking clean dishes out the dishwasher and then reloading it with 30 dishes cleaning anything by hand and just move on from there If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Candace. We are a military family. I have two boys, ages 10 and seven. Um, and I like to do a lot of Sunday reset routines. This is just something that I'm doing anyway, so I figured I might as well film it. A lot of things that you guys are gonna see on my channel are things that I'm doing in my normal life. I'm just filming it for you guys. Um, I do take you guys out on vlogs every now and then. I need to get more into that, but I like to do like cleaning motivation, organization. I love home decor. If you like things like that, I would love for you to subscribe.
moving on to the pantry it's not terrible but wait till you see the other side of our pantry that's like behind me where we have all these open shelves I am gonna get that situated in a second but first I'm gonna wipe down these countertops I'll show you guys the new pizza stone that we picked up from Target the other day it's nothing special we just needed a new one because we had the same metal pizza pan for the longest and it was so scratched up so the one we got was fairly inexpensive it's a three-piece set it comes with a little rack that you put the stone on top of so it makes it easy to take in and out of the oven it also came with a pizza cutter which we didn't need but it's cool that it was included So this side of the pantry has become a catch-all for a bunch of random things. So what I want to do is clear it as much as possible so I can really figure out what I want to do with the shelves. I'm going to attempt to keep them bare for now until we get that situated. So I normally spot clean my fridge once a week or clean it in sections, but it's been a while since I've taken every single thing out and cleaned the drawers and all of that. So that's what I'm going to be doing now so that it'll be ready to go whenever I go grocery shopping.
say I'm an old school man I only wanna fall in love once With an old school girl When I know, I'll know Hand in hand like left, right, left, right, oh Bonnie and Clyde You can have whatever you like When it's you and I can have the world See us coming like left, right, left, right, oh Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Every time I clean out my fridge, I do look for expiration dates and throw out old food so that I have a clear view of everything that I need when I go grocery shopping. Got these clear containers from the container store a couple years ago. I wanted something with a clear top so it's easy to see what's inside. I got these for deli meats and cheeses because some of the packaging, once you open it, there's no turning back. You have to either put it in a Ziploc bag. I just figured having a container like this helps things stay fresher longer and you can take a dry erase marker and write the date on it so you don't forget. I try to get around to the bedding at least once a week. Today I'm gonna to be doing my bedding, but tomorrow I'll probably do the kids' bedding while they're at school. I rarely do all the bedding in one day. I like to break it up, it just makes things easier. That way I can also wash clothes in between. I usually like to listen to music when I'm cleaning, but this time I'm listening to an audiobook. I love audiobooks. Today I'm listening to the new Britney Spears book called The Woman in Me. I actually just finished it, but it is so good. She's spilling all the tea. I highly recommend this one. Moving on to mop the floors and I realized that I'm all out of my Mr. Clean floor cleaner but I heard that Dawn dish soap does really well on floors. As long as you don't overdo it with the soap, it won't make your floor sticky or anything.
is the sink in our laundry room, not our kitchen. So it's used just for things like this and this only. I also spray it down with Lysol spray after I'm done. So I didn't have time to go full on grocery shopping today. I just needed to go and pick up a few things for dinner tonight. So I'll go grocery shopping tomorrow, but I'll give you guys an overview of what I got and then we'll put everything away. switch my bedding over to the dryer and that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.